In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Ryzen 9 7900X 12 core processor all the way up to 5,912 megahertz in five minutes or less using the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme motherboard and EK Quantum custom loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. But please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and most definitely not the whole picture on how to overclock this system. If you want to learn how to overclock this system, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, enter the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 2. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5-6400 and memory timings. Expo 1 will load only the primary timings and have the motherboard tune the secondary timings. Expo 2 will load the entire profile without motherboard adjustments. Set the e-clock mode to asynchronous mode. This enables an external clock generator to drive the CPU frequency. Ryzen 7000 has three clock generator modes, internal, external synchronous, and external asynchronous. In external asynchronous mode, there are two external 100 MHz clock generators. One is used exclusively for the CPU core frequency, and the other is used for the other parts inside the CPU. Set BCLK2 frequency to 105 MHz. That will increase our precision boost algorithm frequencies by 5%. In our case, the maximum boost frequency ceiling increases from the pre-programmed Fmax of 5700 MHz to 5985 MHz. Set memory frequency to DDR5-6000. While our memory kit is rated at DDR5-6400, unfortunately, our CPU isn't able to run that frequency. By enabling Expo, we still benefit from the improved memory timings. Enter the DRM Timing Control submenu. Set Memory Context Restore to Disabled. This forces the CPU to retrain the memory at every boot. The benefit is that it helps improve stability at higher memory frequencies. The downside is that the boot process will take longer to complete. Leave the DRM Timing Control submenu. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here's where we will do most of the performance tuning as PBO provides us with the tools to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 Boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Enabled. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters PPT, TDC and EDC according to the motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Increasing the platform boost parameters typically has the most significant effect with multi-core processors. For Ryzen 7000, however, AMD's default platform parameters are relatively unconstraining. So, even with the 12-core 7900X, we don't hit the platform limits at stock values. Set CPU boost clock override to enabled negative. Set max CPU boost clock override to 75. This decreases the frequency ceiling by 75 MHz from the programmed max 1T limit. On this Ryzen 9 7900X, that's 5700 MHz. Reducing this by 75 MHz results in a ceiling of 5625 MHz, but adjusted by our e-clock of 105 MHz, that becomes 5906 MHz. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu and set Curve Optimizer to Per Core. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to adjust the VF curve for each core by up to 30 steps in a positive direction and up to 300 steps in a negative direction. Each step represents around 5 millivolt. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Setting a positive offset means the CPU will use more voltage for a given frequency and boost to a lower frequency at a particular voltage. That is what we need in our overclock. For every core, set Curve Optimizer sign to positive. For cores 0, 2, 3, 4 and 5, set Curve Optimizer magnitude to 21. For core 1, set Curve Optimizer magnitude to 1. For cores 6, 7, 8, 10 and 11, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 3. For Core 9, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 6. 
then save and exit the BIOS. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better, and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 8.65% in AI benchmark. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5912 MHz for Core 1. When running Prime95, small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU effective clock is 5081 MHz with 1.213 volts. The average CPU temperature is 95.3 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 25.5 and 34.4 degrees Celsius. And the average CPU package power is 207.3 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the Patreon supporters for their support and see you next time.